In celebration of Veterans Day this weekend, thousands came out to honor local heroes at our Virginia's Veterans Parade that 10 News was a proud sponsor of. 10 News reporter Patricia Monalotti met with a World War II veteran who shares what today's celebration means to him and so many others who served. <laughs> As the parade passed through downtown Roanoke in grand fashion, thousands across southwest Virginia paid their respects to these veterans. It's extremely important to me to be here because there are only about a half a million of us left. At the age of 94, Jim Warren stands proud, being the only one of two World War II veterans at the parade. We are dying at approximately 500 World War II veterans a day. Warren, who served as a Signal Corps photographer in the U.S. Army, hopes younger generations will remember why so many served. To be aware of the fact that we were willing to stop doing what we were doing, whether it be working or, or high school or whatever, and protect this country. Alex Horster, a veteran of the Marine Corps who served as a helicopter pilot, likes the adrenaline rush he gets through this celebration of patriotism. I'm proud to have served this country, to have had the privilege, and uh, I really appreciate the city of Roanoke and everybody that comes out to support the veterans. Forster shares his support for those deployed overseas. They need to know that the people are behind them, and it's wonderful to see everybody come out. Because, as I said, there's, there's not many of us left, and this has been a very warm group this morning. A group that didn't hold back, showing their gratitude for the service of these military veterans. In Roanoke, Patricia Martelotti, 10 News, working for you. And just before the Veterans Day parade started, a local promotion was made. We were so proud to be there for that honor. That's Chief Donald Carson. He is now a Chief Warrant Officer 3 in the Virginia National Guard. Congratulations to him.